A few days ago, I came across a Reddit thread that says, "Almost every business analyst job I see requires a CS or engineer undergrad. Why is that so? I have an economics undergrad and currently doing MS business analytics. Despite my post grad, I feel I'm not the correct person to be applying for such jobs." When I read this question, I was like, "Really? How does it happen? Because I think you absolutely don't need a computer science degree in order to become a business analyst. Probably 95 or 99 percent of the cases. But it happens that some employers or recruiters don't really understand the job itself, which leads to a huge gap between the job description and what the job actually entails or requires. This made me really curious and led me scraping 16,000. Thousand job posts in order to find out what are actually the main difference in job requirements and tasks among the most common data jobs, namely data analyst, business analyst, and data scientist. So I came across Diffbot. Diffbot is a very fast and convenient tool that allows you to extract a trillion connected facts across the internet. To start using Diffbot, you just need to sign up for a 14-day free trial. They don't require a credit card, so it's quite nice. And this free trial will give you the access to search for information in this huge knowledge graph and allow you to extract data from any web page without the hassle. Of scraping the different web pages and creating rows by yourself. Since we want to search for jobs, we will choose entity job. Choose the jobs whose titles contain the words data scientist. Then the data is ready, and you can download the CSV files. I just follow the same procedure for data analyst and business analyst job title. So I already download the data, and I already create a Jupyter notebook for pre-processing and analyzing these job post data sets. You can see now that messy data in different websites are organized into name. Page URL requirements summary task text and title. That is really cool. First, I want to see where these job posts actually come from. You can see that most of the jobs in our dataset actually come from military jobs. I didn't know about this website before, but apparently it is quite big and it contains quite a few job posts. To get an understanding of the common words in the jobs related to data scientist, data analyst, and business analyst, we will visualize the phrases in the text column. So as expected, we see words like data analyst, data scientist, business analyst. And also some other words like years experience, data mining, data set, problem solving. Also some words that are a little bit strange like gender orientation, race, color. I'm not sure why it all gets a bit sexist and racist all of a sudden, but. Anyway, the next thing we want to do is to analyze the job requirements. Since we have a column called requirements in our dataset that contain the tags for all the requirements of each job, so what I did was to extract those words and put them into a corpus. Now, if we print out the frequent terms in the job descriptions and job requirements of a data scientist, here we can see things like. Python, science, statistics, R, computer, techniques, mathematics, quantitative, analytics, engineering, research, and some toolings like Hadoop, Spark, Java, and also some education requirements uh, such as PhD and Master. And how about the job requirements of a data analyst? We see things like Excel, SQL, Tableau, reporting, also SaaS, Microsoft. So you can see that in the job requirements of a data analyst. Analyst, we see more things that are related to SQL, uh, data visualization like Tableau, and also Microsoft Office tools. If we look into business analyst, what are the frequent terms? We can see here they are much more related to business, such as project management, process uh, development, communication, solutions, stakeholders. All the things are related to the business process and activities. This kind of plot compares the Most common terms in the job description of the data scientist and data analyst jobs. The more blue the dot is, the more it is associated with the title data analyst, and the more red the dot is, the more it is associated with the title data scientist. Terms in the upper left corner are high in the data analyst frequency and low in the data scientist frequency. And terms in the bottom right corner are high in the data scientist frequency and low in the data scientist frequency. Characteristic terms are the terms that are most associated with the data analyst and data scientist. 
As we can see from this graph, requirements for data scientists seem to focus heavily on math, statistics, predictive algorithms, machine learning, optimization, and big data languages such as Hadoop, Spark, Scala, and the data scientist jobs also seem to often require a master or PhD degree. Compared to data scientist roles, requirements for data analysts seem to focus more on BI tools, Excel, Microsoft Office, reporting, and data visualization. However, if we compare data analyst job requirements with the business analyst requirements, we see that the data analyst roles are much more technical. The main terms that distinguish data analyst job from the business analyst jobs are those such as R, Python, SAS, programming, database, mining, data visualization, whereas for business analysts, we again mostly see terms that are a bit more qualitative and client-facing, such as solution, delivery, clients, test, stakeholders, processes. We can even search these charts by going to search the charts. If I type in statistics, we'll see all the job posts that mention statistics in the job post. In short, we can conclude that among the three roles, the data analyst position seemed to be in the middle in terms of technical level. Compared to the data scientist role, data analyst seems to be more business oriented and focused on reporting and data visualization. However, when compared to a business analyst role, the data analyst is much more technical as they are expected to know programming languages such as R, Python, and working with database and a wide range of office tools such as Excel, as well as data visualization tools such as Tableau. Data scientist job is the only one that seems to explicitly mention master and PhD degree, as well as a computer science knowledge. If you want to check out the Python notebook that I created for the analysis in this video, you can find the download link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!